guys, welcome into Celtics Now. Seas are in the final stretch, but it's really not looking good for the green right now. I mean, as it stands, the Celts will more than likely face the Pacers in the first round of the playoffs, but who's to say anything will change in the postseason? The Seas on a four-game losing skid right now. Here's a look at the results of those games. Kyrie Irving, the top scorer in three of the four. The exception, the loss to the Spurs, in which he went five for 17 from the field. The other three games, Irving put up 30 or more, but of course it wasn't enough. The worst outing, in my opinion, was the loss to the Hornets. The Seas went from having an 18-point lead to losing by seven. Charlotte went on a 30-5 run in the fourth quarter to win the game. Part of the problem, the Seas allowed 24 second-chance points while only scoring two second-chance points of their own. Marcus Smart urging the team to stay positive after the fourth straight loss, saying, quote, we've just got to take a deep breath and calm down. We're anxious, we want to get some wins, and we want to get back on the track of winning. But we really got to take a deep breath and get back to the team that really got us the reputation that we upheld into this season. The good news is the worst is behind them. Here's a look at the remaining eight games of the regular season. The C's toughest matchup, the Indiana Pacers, who currently occupy fourth place in the East, two games ahead of the Celtics. They played the Pacers twice more at home on Friday, then in Indiana next week. A pair of games, likely a first-round playoff preview. Important to note that at 43-31, and 31, the Celtics would not be in the playoffs if they played in the Western Conference. Brad Stevens pinpointing what needs to change if the Seas want any shot at advancing in the postseason. Our defense has to improve dramatically if we're going to make a push to um, you know, ultimately get what we want out of the next couple of months. Kyrie Irving also identifying what needs to improve, saying, quote, I'm used to gearing up for something bigger than myself around this time and what it takes, and I have to do a better job of communicating that to my teammates and being a better listener and kind of figuring out how to best communicate with those guys at that point. Whatever that means. Now to the latest on the injury front. Irving will not play in Tuesday's game against the Cleveland Cavaliers as he's being given a day of rest. Jason Tatum, who's dealing with a back injury, and Al Horford, who's got a knee, are both questionable. And Greg Monroe answered the Celtics' moose call, signing on for a 10-day contract in Boston. Here he is, back on the parquet at TD Garden and looking quite comfortable in green. Monroe contributed to the Celtics' playoff run last year. He was waived by the Nets last month after being traded to New York from the Raptors. With the Celtics' recent injury issues, Brad Stevens thinking Monroe's 6 foot 11 frame and familiarity with the team might come in handy. All right, guys, that'll do it for this episode of Celtics Now. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next week.